Good morning, Simon Pavnik back again from J Star Marine Services and the restorer of Chance, the Western Isles James Silver motor sailor that we have rescued from obscurity and possible de demolition if we hadn't taken her on to give her a second chance. As you've seen in a previous video, Chance was picked up from Wood Plumpton in Lancashire and transported down to our area of the country and is now sitting in Titchmarsh Marina in Walton on the Naze. At the moment it is Thursday the 3rd of November. It is blowing a half a gale of wind and pouring down a rain so no work is being done on Chance today. However, we do hope to get on to Chance at the weekend when we will hope to then start to sort her out, start to do a few calculations on what needs to be done, where, how, costings of the repairs and getting volunteers to come and help us as and when we need them to do sanding, varnishing, take planks out and other gear. So that's how it's going to be for the next few months but hopefully when it dries up for a couple of days I and a friend of mine will hopefully erect a rig pole down the centre of the boat and put a cover over the boat to keep it dry over the winter. So that's our plan, major plan, is to get cover over her, get a water type from above and then work on the inside as much as we can but at the same time doing a few of the outside repairs as and when the weather allows and also money is available to do the repairs. We do have some wood from a previous project which I have stored away which will be able to use to do the steam ribs which are greatly needed in the starboard hand side aft where nearly all the ribs were broken in two on the starboard hand side and there's a fair few in the port hand side in the saloon where they're broken there as well. This was, these were done when she was lifted, not this last time, but the time before, when she was pinched by the strops and cracked all the ribs along the waterline on the corner of the bilge. So that's one of our major jobs we have to do sooner rather than later to retain her shape. The one place I'm very uh, want to get onto really is the starboard hand side aft from the transfer right through to the cockpit where there's been a very poor repair done in the past which has caused the top plank to rot, the deck beams weren't fixed to the carlin or to the beam shelf and that part of the boat has spread. So we'll have to somehow, probably Spanish windlass, wind the boat back together again and put the shape back in before we put the ribs back in. So that's one of the big jobs in the short term. The other one will then be to mark out which planks have got to come out of the hole and most of them is around the water line where it's been wet and dry for many years and that is where the majority of the rot, major rot is, is along the water line. There are other places on the boat that have rotted but that's the small areas which will have to have lengths of plank put in at a decent length, not short little repair planks but a proper conversion back to its original long length of planking which will take some time to do and also will need a lot of steaming because of the complex curvature of the bow on chance. She flares out towards the bow like that and so you'll have to steam the planks in on top of where the hole is where you've taken the plank out to put in an exaggerated amount of bending so when you put the plank in it still, got, it still retains the curve you require to put the plank in properly but these will be long planks not short planks as has been put in in the past so when I'll go take you around the boat next time down the down chart and show you the short repairs which will have to come out. Sometimes it means taking out good planking but it will give the boat back its strength where it's necessary. 
So that's our plan for the next few months. Get the ribs in first, get the beam shelf in, get the half knees on the starboard hand side remade, new carling and new cabin sides aft. So to get the aft cabin back into some sort of good order and hopefully then watertight for the rest of the time that we need to get on with the boat. So, without further ado, that's going to call it a, a, call it a time now. Thank you.